Howdy folks. How is it going? St. Paddy's Day. 17th of March. So, I thought I might as well sit down and enjoy some of uh, the best that Ireland has to offer. Uh, and just send out some uh, some warm wishes and words of support for our Irish here, uh, all our Irish friends, whether they be in Ireland, here in Australia, or wherever else you might happen to be tuned into Little John. So we've got me a little bit of the Jameson, the Jameson whiskey, and a can of the old can of the Guinness. Now I'm assuming this isn't going to be real Guinness. I actually got this given to me uh, by a friend, um, by Matty um, Matty Ursak from the Hop, Hop Wizard. Um, I was out of his place this morning. Grabbed a little few bits and pieces. Uh, getting picking up some hops, uh, and he had a couple of cans in the fridge. I was just talking about I was going to go and get grab a can. To enjoy and he said no nah, here you go um, but no this is the real deal made in Ireland uh, made at St James Gate Guinness draft stout so anyway let's get a let's get let's get a pouring on because it's gonna take you know three hours of the uh, the Guinness to settle enough that we can drink it. <laughs> okay, it looks, it looks horrible coming out of the can, but that's just because you're all foamy. And there you go, the famous, uh, the famous Guinness waterfall doing its thing, the Cascades. So while that's uh, doing its stuff, it's funny, Matty's actually telling me uh, when he went and bought the can, um, so he gave me the can and yeah, it's sort of just coming up to you like you hear the widget. Uh, in, moving around in the can, and he said, The lady, now he bought one, she said, um, She went and grabbed a different can because she thought there was something wrong with it. Uh, she obviously was not aware of the widget in the can and thought there was something going wrong, but no. Nah. So, yeah, St. Paddy's Day, celebration of. All things Ireland. It's a celebration of um, harvest season, traditionally, yeah, in Ireland. So it's sort of, and it's tune in to St. Paddy's Day because today is the actual day that St. St. Paddy died back in. Oh, it's something ridiculous. Long, 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 long time ago, eleven hundreds or something it was. Um, yeah, ages ago. Um, but it sort of donates the start of the, you know, the growth season coming into the spring and into summer. So it's similar to German's Oktoberfest, where it's the opposite end. It celebrates the end of the end of the harvest. The Irish celebrate going into the harvest, and that was all very much attuned to. St. Patrick and the blessing of the land and whatnot that St. Patrick had blessed Ireland with abundance. Um, seemed to be blessed with an abundance of potatoes uh, and brick walls, or stone walls. <laughs> but, hey, it's a beautiful place, what I've seen of it. A lot of it's beautiful anyway. Uh, Supposedly, according to uh, an interesting story, my wife, whose descendants are Irish and Welsh, not Irish, sorry, Italian and Welsh, um, by tracing on family trees, <laughs> uh, when she done a um, DNA test with Ancestry.com, came back and it traced, and apparently it traced it to line stuff in Ireland. Um, which is pretty crazy because there's no mention anywhere in her family trees of family ever coming from Ireland. 
But anyway, we'll, we'll for, for the sake of today, we'll stick with the uh, with the Irish with the Irish connection. Uh, little John, I'm pretty sure it's all Scottish and English. There's no uh, Irish connection. So uh, here we are. Good, uh, a good pint of the Guinness the Guinness Draft. Oh, that big white head. She, no. Nah. <laughs> she black. Cheers. I thought she's having a bloody gap in the Guinness for a bloody while, I tell ya. Been quite a while. It's unique. There's no doubt about it. Um, there's no... No other beer set that I'm not aware of that's anything like the yeah, Guinness. The old Guinness is not a bad drop either. So, everybody out there, you know, hopefully you've seen this on on St. Paddy's Day. It's coming down a little bit late, I get that. Um, it's hard to have a drink on St. Paddy's Day and get the video out too early without yeah, breakfast drinking, um, which is probably a, well, traditionally it's an acceptable Irish thing to have a bit of the Jamison in your coffee in the morning, the old Irish coffee, but uh, <laughs> little John wasn't in all that. I've got the, um, I've got onto the sunny side of lunch, that's for sure. But anyway, if you're celebrating St. Paddy's Day, if you're having some, having some brews, if you've got your, got your green on, in your Guinness or your Jamison or your Kilkenny or whatever other options you're going with, enjoy it. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for a, a long extended beer on the uh, or a drink on the veranda. Happy St. Paddy's Day. Cheers, everybody.